how to make yourself more employable and stand out from the crowd. The challenges for our students to get a job, the increasing number of graduates every year makes it difficult for students to get a job, whether graduate jobs or placement year. Now the recruiters start to uh, find it really difficult to manage a huge number of applicants. This is why they introduced in-line test. These are um, challenging tests, such as a numerical test, um, a verbal reasoning test, and others. Graduates should be able to express themselves and should have strong communication skills when they go to the interview or to the assessment center. They should be able to express themselves through competencies, giving examples. <clears throat> yes, it's a challenge. It is a challenge. But remember that skills, education, and experience for these three, you need them in order to get a job. So far, you've got the education part, but how about the skills and how about the experience? The skills you are gaining through your education, it's valuable if you utilize it. So one left is the experience. You try to extend, keep extending yourself. Time to grow. Try to get involved in any opportunity available, right? Voluntary jobs, any voluntary jobs, I try even a couple of hours a week. That makes makes a difference when it comes to your CV. Part-time jobs, these all will give you skills. It doesn't have to be in business or accounting Korea or finance Korea. It just any part job, any part-time job can help. Because you're looking for the skills. The employers are not going to question your technical knowledge, but they are going to question your skills, your communication skills, your teamwork, your problem solving skills. How about the internship? Summer internship or spring internships? These are really valuable when it comes to your CV. Because these help you to get a job because you've got the experience you've got the skills you've gained the skills placements let me focus a little bit about one year in industry guys remember this is maybe related more to year two students and remember if you are even uh, in any year so make sure that you listen so I would recommend the students even even if you are not looking for a placement so I would recommend you to apply for a placement okay now let me continue applying for a placement is not meant to be that you are gonna do placement yeah so remember this okay and first of all, remember that it's not easy to get a placement. It's, it's very, very, very difficult because it's, it's com the competition is really high, isn't it? But now you are in year two, yeah? And remember, when it comes to year three, you're going to start applying for graduate jobs. First of all, let me explain you something. Applying for a graduate jobs is not easy, okay? So you need to build up your, uh, your files in your laptop. When it comes to year three, and you haven't got any experience in terms of applying for placement, right? And you will start applying for graduate jobs from year three. So remember that year three is very demanding um you've got limited time 
So how about you getting this experience from year two and applying for a placement? And again, the aim, if you are not planning to do placement, the aim is not to do placement. It's okay, just apply, get the experience. These, all the experience will help you in year three to apply for graduate jobs. Yeah. So remember that you want to practice on online testing. This takes a lot of time. Remember that you need to build up your CV. You need to have a perfect CV. And remember that you need to have a perfect, outstanding covering letter. And remember you need to have excellent written competencies in terms of competencies, questions such as give me an example of a time which you um, uh, which had a problem and you solve it. You were under pressure. You work as a team. Look, these old competencies, yeah? Can you see? Mock interviews. Can you see all these things? If you really having the practice on them in year one and year two, and you all gonna do it in year three, you will be stuck. You will be stuck. You will spend many, many, many hours on them. Okay, I'll give you one tip. Now, if you are planning to do placement, great, good job, you're working on it. If not, this is for you. How about, okay, how about you believe in yourself, you believe that you're going to do placement, yeah? That's why you believe and you start applying for placement, yeah? So don't change your degree or anything. Uh, don't email school management, yeah, can you pl uh, please uh, change from three years to four years, one year, that's not, this is not relevant, bro. don't worry about it. So you can change, you can send this email in June, July next year, right? Before your placement one month, it doesn't, doesn't matter, yeah? The aim is to practice. Open a file in your laptop, call it a placement. Open an Excel sheet, Excel sheet file. Write each company you apply and the steps, right? What does that mean? You reach to this step, for example, application, then interview, then online test. So you can see the steps, there are steps. The final step, which is assessment center and interview. It's not straight. It's not. It's not only one interview and you get a job. Yeah. So if you think like this, you you need to rethink. It's very challenging. Yeah. Again. Each company, you need to open a file. This company, you need to put down all the things about it. Yeah. So that CV, the covering letter, the application, the application form. So everything you got, you need to write there everything yeah because this you will come back to it later trust me in terms of the competencies right when you do the application right there's a lot of question written in question that's each application maybe takes a couple of three four hours so these competencies questions the examples spend some time in this some time on it write an excellent uh, answer and save them in microsoft Word, right save them in Microsoft Word. So these, you can use them later for uh, upcoming applications. Because remember, 90% of applications are similar, isn't it? So what you need to do, you need to spend in this some time in the first sec, in the first two, three applications, and then it makes your life easier. Right, in terms of CV, build up a good CV, very good CV outstanding CV. In terms of covering letter, why do you want this job? Why do you want this company? Again, that's you should build it up. Don't say in the covering letter, this company is amazing, is it great? No. So always remember when the recruiter wants to read your covering letter, so distinguish yourself from others. Yeah, because a lot of them, the 90-90% they will say, oh, that's a great company. Yeah. PricewaterhouseCoopers, Deloitte, it's a great company. Their, their revenues are the highest. Yeah, no, no. What really reasons? Why do you want this company? Yeah, research, spend hours researching this company. So again, once you've got all of this, you worked hard to do it. That's maybe you need one year to really build up this portfolio. Trust me, one year. In year two, do it. 
if you get placement here we go great good job it's your option now do you want to do placement or not it's your option if not don't worry it's fine you give the experience guys you've got the experience this experience will not be vanished this experience you will use it in year three when it comes to year three you are 90 percent ready all the files ready all the examples ready it's just a way to restart and reapply for a job you've got 90 percent and again just makes your life easier when it comes to year three guys so again guys that's my recommendation, right? And even though, right, getting experience is really, a, it does really pay off, right? Come on, let's, let's be honest, come on. It's a great to get experience. Why? Because you're going to apply the knowledge, the skills you have, you're going to you're gonna gain valuable skills. And also remember that the company might give you a job for graduate jobs if you if really work hard, isn't it? And this is the way you build up your professional network. Because you're going to visit other employers, you visit other companies, and you're going to also network within the business itself. So again, it's a great opportunity. Absolutely great. No doubt about it. I know a lot of students, they do want to do placement, they want to finish and do graduate. It's a challenging, I know. But again, guys, what I'm, I'm trying to tell you, right? I'm not going to, I'm not trying to convince you. If you don't want a placement, don't placement. That's fine. Don't do, don't do placement. Fine. I'm trying to tell you guys what try to build a portfolio from now do not wait to your three yeah start from now and assume behave believe okay you are applying for a placement and you want to do a placement here right how to grow how to grow remember something yeah social media is a powerful tool and now, if you go, if you go uh, uh, see people in TikTok or other social media, you will see they have millions of subscribers, and and not always they really present useful things, really. But I'm trying to tell you what it's powerful, isn't it? It's powerful, right? So what? Yes. You try to link, get LinkedIn account. If you got LinkedIn, perfect, excellent. If not, build up one. If you got one, prove it. Add the skills. Add people from industry. Right? Network. In terms of Zoom team, this time most of uh, online are done through um, virtually basically and one of them is zoom through zoom or team microsoft team whatever um, unfortunately a lot of students um, they try to um, hide uh, behind the webcam and what we see only we see black boxes and again my advice to you that you don't have to to turn on the webcam and present yourself and speak and talk but I promise you that you have to have it in a couple of years time when you graduate so this is the trend yeah can you imagine if you have a meeting in the company with your manager or you've got interviews virtual interviews and you don't bother, uh, you, you don't turn on the cam. Yeah. So this is opportunity for you guys. In a relaxing environment like seminars, why not turning on the webcam and try to engage and try to present yourself? These all, ex this experience can help you later. Because this is like this is what this is this is our trend now the future trend later to try to give this experience other than later really because remember when you apply for placement graduate job so remember this is gonna be all virtual 90% will be virtual so we're not gaining the skills from now 
And one thing you need to remember that the traditional communication skills we used to have in some hall is not valid with virtual, right? We have this particular virtual communication skills, yeah? So don't think that you've got, if you've got strong communication skills, here we go, you can manage, you can cope with, uh, with interviews virtually. Not really, because there is specific virtual communication skills which you need to gain in order to succeed virtually. So you need to look at this and improve it. Networking is important, it's powerful networking, yeah? As I mentioned, try to engage as much as you can. Try to, to get to know people, right? Through, in, through um, as I mentioned, uh, part-time jobs, through voluntary jobs. For example, a lot of students, I know they had one week in a bright future. It's amazing. They networked and they uh, met some employers. The point is, do not just sit down and watch. The opportunity will not come to you guys. Trust me, you must chase it. Tips. Always talk about yourself, yeah? Talk about yourself in terms of how did you do well in specific question. For example, give me a time uh, when you work under pressure. Uh, give me a time when you work as a team. Yeah, can you see these? These are really powerful questions. So we need, really need to write a good answer, powerful answer. Yeah, and always use the technique STAR. If you research, you will see it. Talk about some limitations, right? I know a lot of uh, students, they say, all right, I don't want to apply for placement of graduates. Um, in in maybe in London or in some cities they want specific city. they want maybe stay in Wales or they want maybe London area again you put some limitations yeah if you find it that's great amazing but how about not so don't limit yourself to so try to go anywhere even Scotland <laughs> right so the key here the key what I know it's far away Scotland from Wales yeah but remember that don't be picky in the first job yeah don't be fussy yeah so you need to get this job for a couple of years three years then here we go you can't go anywhere through the university you need to gain the valuable skills which really we are proud in here in the school which we teach um, modules which help students to gain these valuable skills employability skills for example for accounting, uh, we send uh, students to industry, so we can, they can network and see how accounting is a practice in the re real world. We have in year three in accounting, Sage software. This Sage software is used by employers, and I would recommend you to take it. It's worth it when the employer see it in, see it in your CV. So there's a data, there's Excel, how to prepare financial statement using Excel sheet. These are really important because remember when you get a job, most of your job will be using Excel. So there's a lot of skills, a lot of valuable skills, including employability, including other skills. How about the learn from the experience, right? So remember that you will definitely be rejected, yeah? Trust me, you will be rejected, yeah? If you, if you, if you, from the first time, if you get the job, you are Superman, yeah? Here we go. So learn it from the experience. Don't say, oh, I'm rejected, uh, that I put you down, I don't want to apply again. No, no, not, not, this, not this, case, this case. Instead, find out, ask the employers for feedback if they can. You try to improve yourself for next time. This is the way we learn, isn't it? It's a learning curve, yeah? It's like me when I used to apply for a job, first time, second time, third time, four, five, six, six, then I got the job, yeah? But I used to improve every time. So if you walk, yeah? Has to be progressed, isn't it? Not on the same line, yeah? Just try to improve every time. 
of course you need don't give up and you need to keep on yeah because remember that the right job and the right time will come to you guys and that's why you need to keep on guys and keep positive and a smiley and remember this is not your limit the sky is not my limit i am thank you very much god bless